And having qualified for the group stages of CAF Confederations Cup, Garma here will now shift their focus to the Kenyan Premier League title race as they await their next continental assignment. The team arrived on Thursday from South Africa where they bundled out Supersport United. Kenyan Premier League champions Gurma here jetted back into the country from South Africa after securing a place in the CAF Confederations Cup group stages. Kogalo eliminated 2017 finalist Supersport United on away goal rule following a 2-2 aggregate score. I said to the players, you know, well, let, let's start a new chapter. You know, we've had the history 30 years ago. We, 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 we needed this. Kenyan football needed this. Kenyan sport needed this. And I said to the players before the game, if they score a goal, we've got to react. Midfield maestro Francis Kahata scored the decisive goal for Gormahia after Harun Shakava's own goal had given Mata Sansa a lifeline. And, and this season we've got a very, very good squad. They've grown up, they've become better players, better personalities. And the, the big thing I learned yesterday, we've got character because it was tough. Despite the challenges, the team faced before travelling to South Africa for their return leg, Tactician Dylan Kerr believes his charges are focused and ready for their next challenge. The preparations, they were terrible, but we deal with it. We have to deal with it because we know our situation in the football club. We know with no sponsor and you know we have to thank the governor for his his generation, his, his generosity in paying for the tickets. So mimi na pia changamoto kwa viongozi wenzangu. Tuache siasa kwa soka, waje tuungane, tuweke morali ya timu zetu zote. Teams that get facilitation, uh, allowance, vizuri, zinaweza enda mbali sana. Gormahia will now await the draw for group stage to be held on Saturday in Cairo, Egypt, to know their next three opponents. Abula Ahmed, KTN Sports. Hmm.